up guys Tom is back with another Linton's video today I have 15 fragrances to discuss and I'll tell you why but before we get into that just want to say thank you guys again it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whether it's that cell phone that tablet that laptop that Macintosh that brand new big screen TV whether you watch me at home at work on a plane a train or an automobile maybe you watch me right now in that bubble bath maybe you watch me in the shower maybe you're watching me taking a dump I don't care, however and wherever you're watching me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Now, if you are watching me taking a dump, that means you finally stepped on up from reading the back of those deodorant labels, those soap labels, reading uh, ingredients to uh, different shaving creams. You guys have definitely stepped up and you're watching some more entertaining things. So thank you guys so much if you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like likes are very very important now as i said i'll try to make this video fast i'll just try to try to tell you just what i smell from it when you can wear it uh but you know if i were to talk about all 15 of these things like at at uh you know a lot i mean we'd be here uh, you know, you'd probably be better off watching the Green Mile. It might be like a three hour long video. So we'll try to get this one out the way now in no particular order. These are 15 fragrances that honestly, these aren't the best of the best. Okay. Uh, these aren't the longest lasting. These aren't the, 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 it's perfect from start to finish. These are just fragrances that honestly, as much as I like to wear them, I like just coming up to them and smelling them. There's something about going up to your collection. If you have a huge collection, maybe you have a small collection and just pinpoint certain fragrances that you like just to smell straight from the bottle, nothing else, okay? The, the fragrance itself, we're just going based off of the overall scent that you get, okay? The scent, that is it. Not projection, not performance, not longevity, nothing. We're just going based off scent. And I got some freshies, I got some darkies, we got all of it so let's get into it and we'll start off <sighs> probably with the cheapest one on this and it is uh, a zara guys know zara they have you know they have a lot of hidden gems the problem is zara sometimes the uh longevity the performance is abysmal in some of these fragrances but I'm honestly with this fragrance, man, cool weather. This fragrance just smells so good. This is that Zara Extreme 9.0. Man, you got lavender, pepper, cardamom, orris. You got some vetiver, cedarwood, patchouli, amber, and musk. But man, just smelling this straight from the bottle. The first opening spray that you get, man, it's kind of got almost this sweet, irisy, lipsticky, but candy like, almost like sweet, like thick luscious candy chocolatey irisy that that lipsticky smell it's just something about this that i really just love smelling it's hard to describe get your hands on it if i don't know if i make this one anymore but it just smells so good definitely for a night out sexy date night fragrance cool weather boom really good stuff so that is that one and i can just tuck that right back in the collection next up I love smelling this just because it reminds me of cedar chips. I love the way cedar chips smell. Or if you smell like those cedar hangers that maybe you got a snake, maybe you got a reptile in the house that needs those cedar chips. You know, you've opened up that package and that nice, like fresh woody smell just creeps up into you. And that's what I get with this La Leak Ohm. Okay, this is the one with the horse head. There is one with a line on it as well, but man, to me, it's just citrusy and those cedar chips. That's what this smells like to me. Now, some of you guys might think something different, but honestly, me, I get cedar chips and this thing smells great. La Lique, boom. Put that right down there in that collection. Next up, number three. Let's go to number three. Another cheapy. A cheapy, but honestly, whenever I wear this, always gets the compliments, always gets the job done. Performance is pretty good. But honestly, I just love smelling this straight from the bottle. You guys know this one. I've talked about this one a lot. That is that Frank Olivier Amber. Man, this thing, sweet, smooth, woody, ambery, just smells, 
so good. And when I got this, I think I paid like 17 bucks on it. I think it might've went up in price, but if you can get it for anything less than $30, even honestly, even for $40, this is a damn good fragrance. Even if you had to pay 40, now I wouldn't suggest you pay 40, but even if you did and you got it, you'd probably think it cost more than uh, that, even that 40, even that $40 range. If you were to just blind buy and smell this, blindly you would probably think this probably cost 50 or 60 maybe even 70 bucks so that is that frank olivier amber another good sexy sweet date night fragrance okay put that back there <sighs> next up you know this one is pretty much the one i think i've put on the map uh i started this one off and this is pretty much my claim to fame this fragrance you guys all know now some of you guys think it's 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 too feminine some of you don't don't think it's feminine some of you guys think it's nuclear the performance projection everything about this fragrance is good and honestly sometimes just smelling this straight from the bottle is where it's at honestly this is that mythical you take this you literally do that to yourself like that and you will smell it all day okay i kid you not do that give yourself a mythical sanchez and Man, this stuff will smell so good. So it's like floral, rosy, but it, again, almost smells like the strawberry champagne, like big, uh, the big red soda, the the, the red soda that kind of, that's that bubbly, but floral red sweet. Man, this stuff smells great. We'll put that right here back in its original spot. <sighs> Next up, you know, sometimes, Again, fragrances that I really like just smelling in, like out the bottle usually are the, the fresh, the cleans, the ones that kind of uplift those spirits. And this one always gives me that uplifting feel. Definitely when I'm ready for bed. Even if I don't even wear it before I go to bed, I love just smelling this one. You guys know I've talked about this one quite a bit too on this channel. This one is Banana Republic Linen Vetiver, okay? This one just smells literally like fresh laundered clothes. Like stepping into a bed full of nice clean sheets. You guys already know what I'm talking about. You can go all day working, working, working. You get home, you take a shower and just say your wife changed the sheets. She just cleaned them. She put brand new bedding on. Sheets are all like smooth, no wrinkles in the sheets. Your pillowcases look immaculate. And you jump in that bed and there's no greater feeling. This again will make you feel like you're jumping into some clean bed sheets linen vetiver from banana republic also i could have went with the um the one that uh the the tea the one that smells like tea because they're kind of similar to that one just both fresh same thing but great great scent <sighs> next up is one that i believe would also get me some claim to fame if more people can find this one it's definitely starting to uh pop up a little bit more now uh once you see this one you'll think of three other fragrances that you can think of that kind of give you that same uh dna but uh this one personally even though i got uh two fragrances actually had three that smell similar to give you the same vibe the ones that smell like tiger i had three of them but i kept two the other one i wish i didn't give away just yet but eventually we'll get that one back this one is that Essentia de Flores Tiger. Man, this stuff, it's like you take that cedar chip smell that I was talking about and a little bit more bright citrus, that grapefruit or whatever the hell there's in here, a little bit of spicy ginger, whatever the hell is in here. I don't know what the hell is in here. And then you kind of make it sparkly. You make it sparkly, almost crystal, crystal clear, Pepsi-ish with those little things in there, some cedar, some orange, some citrus, whatever the hell is in here, but man, this is essentially the tiger man if you i mean if you guys already have like the tiger or blue defrothy or alchem silver obviously you don't need this but this was the first one that i got with the tiger dna pretty much and so this is why this is my favorite now i've tried the other two the other two are just as good this one has a little bit more sweetness to it that i like then uh the tarali blue is more fresh this one's more of kind of like a little bit slightly sweeter okay so that is that tiger Essentia. Where the hell did this one go? I don't know. Put it down. We'll put it down here for now. Next up. 
Come on, I'm trying to make this pass, okay? Next up, we'll get to some, uh, I do have some, uh, you know, not everything is Middle Eastern. I do have some designer fragrances. I do not just buy everything that's a clone. Almost 90% uh, of my fragrances are clones, probably maybe maybe 85, okay? But I do have a couple of name brand ones, uh, designers, and this one is from Jeev Hanshi. I smelt the other ones. Bosse, I smelt uh, Reserve. I didn't smell the, the the originals and stuff like that, not that yet, but this was the first one that I smelled in this lineup, that when I smelt it, I was just like, man, that smells just so good. You guys know this is that Gentleman Jifanshi, the EDP, this stuff right here, I believe this is the EDT, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> Irisy, lipsticky, but it almost kind of smells, in my opinion, chocolatey. Like chocolate, think of chocolatey, waxy, lipsticky. That's what it kind of smells like to me when I first smelled this. If you guys never smelled chocolate licorice, okay? The, not the black licorice, the Twizzlers, okay? The ones that no one likes. There was a time when there was a chocolate licorice, okay? The way that smelled, this is kind of what I get with this one, okay? Like that chocolatey smell, not that waxy smell, but I guess it probably smelled waxy too because it's probably made of wax, but other than that, Man, this one just smells so good. A fragrance that I just love coming straight up to. And you know what? I don't even got to wear it. I just want to smell it straight from the bottle. And this one goes right to the top. Most of my uh, higher designer and fragrances are at the top, even though they're not really all that high in either. They're just higher up. Anyways, next up. I don't even know which one we're on. What the? We're getting close, okay? We got, uh, we got about uh, eight left, so I must have went through seven. Let's get to this next one. Here goes number eight right here. Uh, man, if only this fragrance could last long. If only it can project a little bit more. This thing would be just so dang good. Now, with this one, you can also layer. But, you know, it's almost now one fragrance that would have been here if I still had it would have been Polo Red Intense. I don't have it because that cranberry note, that cranberry note in the opening is just so dang good i wish i would have kept that but i did trade it mr michael larusa hopefully you like it but there is a fragrance out there that also has that same fruity note that first punch that you get just smells so great again i just wish this lasts longer this is that hermes rhubarb ecolarte there you go hermes this stuff like an earthy fruity because guys know rhubarb has that long stalk even though it's kind of sweet but it's got that sour it's kind of got that green it's kind of got that earthy smell <sighs> man again if this thing could just last a little bit longer even project a little bit longer this would be so awesome and for the price that is the issue with this fragrance because luckily i was able to get this for 68 on ebay but man if you went to the store and get this like $128 and it lasts probably like three hours, what, what, what kind of stuff are they smoking over there? That's that's why we need clones because uh, you, you buy something like this for $128 because you're only, you know, sometimes you just spray the stuff at the store and you just go based off the smell. You're not even caring about how long it goes because you just like this way it smells. And then when you get home, you realize it's only lasting three hours. Now you're a little angry. So that's, man, hopefully Fragrance World, the Paris Corner, whoever. Hey, if you guys see this one, make one, please. Hermes, rhubarb, a galard. galard. Probably butchering the hell out of that, but nonetheless, let's get to the next one. Okay, next up. Man, I've talked plenty about this as well. I think it's still my favorite arm off. <sighs> talked about this one a lot and I think this is just I believe this might just be Chanel Platinum I don't know if there's is there a difference between Chanel Platinum Eagle East or is it Chanel Eagle East and then Chanel Platinum are those two separate things I don't know but all I know is this damn bow acute smells so good man this is classy this is gentlemany <sighs> This stuff smells so good. I hate the bottle, but, man, you guys already know. If you guys have never smelled this Bow Acute, this is pretty much one of my favorite Armoffs, this Legacy. Um, I actually like this one over Legacy a little bit more, but both of those are very good. Both can be worn for the same occasion, going out for a night out with the 
the wife elegant dinner maybe going to a wedding this would be perfect for that nice springtime wedding but boa cute there you go it is a cute bottle no it isn't it's an ugly bottle next step <sighs> man first time i did a video on this one i just loved it and this was the first time i actually smelt a clone of what it's cloning okay you guys know it's cloning tom ford's tobacco for me but man the first time i smelt this this is that tobacco touch from mason lumbra man this stuff smells so good and uh last time i wore this wasn't the cool weather at church Man, the smell that just kept coming off of my sweater was just unbelievable. So this is one of those fragrances I just love. Coming up to, grabbing it, smell it from the bottle. That kind of earthy, woody, sweet, spicy, beautiful fragrance. Tobacco, vanilla. Then you got that vanilla. That vanilla, the vanilla. The vanilla of vanilla. <sighs> Stuff smells great. I don't care if this is not the real deal. It smells great and it lasts long. So there it is, Tom Ford's Tobacco Touch from Basin Alumbra. <laughs> we'll put that over here. We got a, 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 an array of those uh, Tom Ford's. But anyways, next up, we got one, two, three, four, five, five more left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, number 10, here we go, number 10. Number 10, okay. This one recently just got not too long ago i actually did a video on this maybe about four or five months ago it's obviously a little bit more feminine but i just love the way this smells you guys never smelled like lychees it smells like lychee it smells floral it just smells clean musky fresh this one is that fana glance from intense elite man what a gorgeous scent again we're just going based off scent not performance not projection all that just really just going up to the bottle and smelling it i know you guys all have that 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 same thing that you do you go to the bottle you just smell it you don't even spray it you just you just smell it and you walk away and you just you go spray something different but man this is one for now glance man if you guys have this man i encourage you to try layering it with if you got Guerlain Loam, the one that's kind of cherry syrupy, layer that with this. Oh, so good. I got the generic uh, Guerlain over there, down there, Fragrance World. But man, when I layered both of those, this, that, oh, snap. Fanat Glance Elite Intense. <sighs> Number 11. We'll go with one that's really not, um, honestly, I did a video on this maybe four or five years ago. Who knows? Beard brand. They make beard products, and then they got fragrances as well. This one is Four Vices. Man, this one, you get coffee, you get hoppy, you get uh, um, tobacco. Man, this thing just smells so good. And, man, I probably wore this maybe like twice only, and they just haven't even used it. I mean, you guys can see, if you guys can see, look at that. Twice. Okay, use this twice, but, man... This stuff smells great. What a great for, uh, fragrance. Again, hoppy, earthy, barley, coffee-ish, tobacco. What more can you ask for? So, four vices, beard brand. And they also make that in a beard balm. So, go all out. If you got that beard, spray that, spray that. Boom, boom, boom. Smell good. Man, that was great to wear that in those mask days. Whew. Next up, number 13. I mean, I like this fragrance because once in a while, I do like a nice clovey, spicy scent. And there are days when I just got to come up to this one and just smell it. Smells old, smells mature, smells spicy. Again, clovey, kind of woody, earthy. This one is that brackish fragrance world, a barrage, brackish. Man, that clovey, but in a good way, not like you're just going into a... A Catholic church where they start waving the thing around with the cloves and the, the all the smells in there Man, this just smells so good. It, it's slightly sweet clovey just a great Scent just something I like smelling straight from the bottle more than just this one is almost more than actually wearing it I wore this twice 
This one is just one of those fragrances you just want to smell all day. So there's that one. We'll put that right next to that enclosure brackish. <sighs> next up. This one is a newcomer as well. But when I first smelt this fragrance, a clone of what it's actually cloning, okay? A clone of what it's actually uh, copying, okay? Greenly, you guys know, Parfums de Marley, super expensive fragrance, 200 something bucks. Man, I smelt a clone of that. I believe it was King's Fragrances, if I'm not mistaken. I had to get a bottle, but Fragrance World made one, and I was like, man, I like Fragrance World, so let's try that one. Let's try that Midori, man, fresh, crisp, green, uplifting fragrance. Man, this stuff just smells good. You got to get the job done. You want to smell fresh, you want to smell clean, definitely in the summertime heat. Boom. You can't go wrong with the Midori. Last but not least, again, I try to make this video as short as possible, but, uh, you know, sometimes I just ramble on and on and on. But, man, this is one of those fragrances. Not only is it one of the kings of sexy date nights, but man, it is just a beautiful fragrance to smell just on its own. And that is that La Nuit de Lom YSL. That cardamom in here is just so special, okay? Cardamom spicy, warm spicy. <sighs> Smelling this is just so good. I remember where I really fell in love with this fragrance. Eating at a pizza joint. A pizza buffet, not CeCe's. Uh, we, we have this one in Wisconsin called Pizza Ranch. And I remember spraying this on my hand. And while I was eating that pizza, every time I brought that pizza up, I got the whiff. And I was like, man, what the heck did I put on my hand? And I remembered it was this. It was just that sexy, seductive cardamom, that spicy smell that just, man, allured me into buying a bottle, okay? That was... When I did that, that was actually a small travel size thing. So I had to get this in a full bottle. But there it is. That is that YSL La Nuit de Lone. Man, doesn't YSL. They just, man, knocking that out of the park with all the fragrance. But with that being said, man, I, I hopefully I didn't keep you guys too long. I know this is kind of long. But hey, if you guys tried any of those, what are some fragrances that you like to just smell? Fragrances that you probably don't even wear much, but you just love smelling it, okay? Uh, maybe maybe you just don't like wearing them that much because they again some of these fragrances smell different straight from the bottle Then once it gets on your skin once it gets on your clothes once it gets out of those elements Okay, so you guys got to remember that so with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here Hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you guys did hit the likes comment subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah